Hey guys, my name is Cindy Egg and welcome back to Fast Food Simulator Episode 2. You guys seem to love the first episode so much, we're back with another one. Now guys, every episode I'm asking you guys to rename my fast food restaurant and uh, we got some pretty good ones. So before we jump into it guys, if you enjoy this and want the series to continue, then make sure you smash that like button down below. Let me know in the comments by saying thank you for a pleasure while we do just that. Guys, we're going to be expanding the restaurant today. Look at the size of these restaurants we have around us right now. They are ridiculously huge and uh, we need to kind of um, do some progress to uh, increase it. So we're going to manage and rename it. Now, unfortunately, I can't say who named this store because so many of you gave me this suggestion. So it, like everybody who gave me a suggestion, you are the inspiration behind it. And you want me to call it, hang on, I gotta click on the whole thing. Um, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it was, it was fast fools, fast fools. Like, you know, like a fast food restaurant, it was fast fools. Bam, and it's been renamed. And I don't know if it actually goes on the sign. Yeah, fast fools, there we go. So if you guys want to give me some pretty sweet, sweet name suggestions for the next episode, let me know in the comment section down below. The more unique, the more chance you are actually going to get to physically rename it yourself. But I can't say who named this one because so many people named it. So we got 6,600 in the bank. We've got a nice little dining area over here. Uh, we've got one chef and one little customer service dude and one cleaner janitor, we want to call him. Uh, working right now. Maintenance dude it is. That's what it is. We're going to check our supply first before we go crazy. So let's order two of those. Let's order four of those. Let's get five of these. So once I spent the money on ordering, I know then roughly how much is left to start upgrading everywhere. Right, five of those. Four of those. Right, there we go. We've got lots of now stuff now in stock. So the first thing we want to do then is actually upgrade. Um, no, that's supply. Upgrade. There we go. Buy more land. So we're going to buy this land here for a thousand. So we expand that way, which will help us expand the kitchen slightly. And also maybe um, we get a small little area in for like the toilets, the bathroom area. I'll buy this land and that land there. So we kind of create and we'll buy this as well. So we've got this huge little area we can kind of work with. So sweet, mate. We've got lots of space for upgrades, but obviously we need to make the money to get them upgrades in. So we can't do anything until we close the restaurant. So we'll keep it going. We'll keep it going until we spend some cash money moolah. Uh, well, we got some extra cash money moolah on upgrading. So what I want to do then is continue to go down here and we build like the toilet area. Um, so, you know, our guests can go to the bathroom and whatnot. Just make it more comfortable for them. Uh, we can go further back as well to expand the kitchen and if we expand that way as well We can get like an extra um, Counter in to have like a second person serving, but we don't have that many customers coming through So we gonna be worth at some point upgrading the sign outside to increase the customers We expand backwards a little bit so we can increase the amount of chairs and stuff we've got Now if I go to build which we can't really do anything until it's closed But what is this they have like gems or ores in can I get money from that? I don't know Oh, that dude was not happy. What do we not have in stock? All right, I didn't order the nuggets. Oh, because they're coming. The nuggets are coming. The potatoes, we have no potatoes. You order some of those. Apparently, nuggets are coming. I just don't know when. Man, we need to sort our supply chain out too. Right, so we got almost 300 smackaroonies. We'll wait for this person to be served so we can get the cash from her. 280, boom. And we're going to close down the restaurante. There we go. It's now closed. So building them. If I go to demolish that. Can I? Wait, hold on. Build. I don't want that. Furnish. Sell. Can't sell those. They have to be demolished. Fine. Build. Demolish. Right, whatever's in my area. Okay, that's none of this is in my. Oh, hold on. Did you cost some money to like demolish? No, it don't. Right, okay. Oh, did I just delete a wall? 
No, I'm just looking. I didn't delete a wall. Right, okay. Let's delete that one. That one, that one, and that one. You get a little bit of money back in return. Uh, flooring. I just noticed as well, it just got dark. Have they put the day in... I think there's a day and night cycle now in this game. Holy moly. Right, okay. So we're going to do stone floor. Boom, 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 boom. Expand it that way. Nice. We expand or kind of re kind of jig now the kitchen around. So we got to kind of think, um, we need a second refrigerator at some point. I won't upgrade the kitchen just yet. Uh, furnish. I just want to add in like a second counter. So move this just there. And then uh, we got a little bit of space there. We're going to move the kitchen back. So that's when we can get more like, you know, items and whatnot. But again, we need to get some more money. We actually probably get away with doing it now. Let me try that. Let me go to uh, build. I'm trying to, in my mind, I'm trying to think how I want to do this or how I want to approach it. So I can't get rid of that one there. So let me just place all this floor in here. It's a lot of floor and I'm dropping down. It is a lot. I'm quite aware of this. Right, there we go. I probably won't expand the seating area just yet until we make more money. Why is... So, okay. Right. So, furnishing, or furnish, um, we're going to rotate that there, have that there, have that there, and then the sink at the very end. No, we can have the sink, like, here. That kind of, like, makes slight sense. And then we have, like, another fryer and, you know, cooker and, and fridge, like, here, but, like, facing onto it, onto the back of it. So, we do, like, a line in the middle. That'd be quite cool. How much would that stuff be? So, a fridge is fairly cheap. A grill is 500 and a fryer there. Right. Okay. Ah, I've got none of the smackaroonies left. So, I might need to um, open the store again very soon. So, let's get building. No. Furnishing. Uh, where is it? Services. Counter. There. So I could potentially hire a second person. Right, I'm kind of running out of money at this point now. Now, I just want to kind of sprint over and check how everybody else has their kitchens. So he has... Okay, right, I've got the... Uh, wait, he's got the sinks in the middle. Is that a good idea? I don't know. I don't know. Right, furnish again and move it. So I'm not liking how these back onto each other. Now, what if I put the sink here? Cook it there. There is, there is nothing like a, a like a half wall, is there? Walls. I'm trying to see, is there anything like a half wall? There isn't, no. Because that would be cool if we put like a half wall in. That would have been kind of dope to drop that in. But that's fine. All right, place them on this side because it just feels a little bit more natural to have them against the wall. Right, I've got 348 remaining. Uh, I think this dude's trying to get a little selfie with me. Right, we'll give him, give him a moment to get a selfie. So I've got some money remaining. It's, it's nighttime, isn't it? Where's the moon? The moon is there. The moon is now going up. So I think it's best that we probably open the store now. Yeah, let's open it back up. It's now back open so we can get some money coming in. But um, I need to get... Some walls going around to finish it off. Maybe the bathroom and toilet area in as well. And uh, then I should be able to hire a second um, server. But I need enough money to buy the cash register and another cook. And then, guys, we're going to be making all the monies. We're just now waiting for somebody to turn up at your boy's restaurante. We're just playing the waiting game. Where's the moon as well? The moon is, is up there. We I want it to be daytime again. I, I kind of hate day and night cycles because like in the nighttime you can barely see. Right, is any customers coming? Any? I mean, I'm waiting around for them. Oh, is that one? Yeah, there we go. We got a customer now coming in. Sweet. So the day overview, we we lost one thousand nine hundred because you know we spent a lot of money. And um, time to open. Is it opening soon? Oh, is it because it's night time? You closed overnight. I think that's what it is. That's kind of cool if it is. Right, dope, 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 dope. Again. I've now got 63... Oh my god, i got $63 because we just paid all of our staff wages. 
Oh! That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Right, we got 30 seconds till this place opens. Guys, this is going to look like a beast. I can't wait till we can upgrade some of the outdoor stuff as well. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Right. 20 seconds to go before we get the cash. Ready, Bruno, rolling in. Yeah, boy. Well, how's this dude over here done his kitchen? Where is it? Oh, he's got... Oh, that looks so good. So he's only doing it free, kind of um, free wide. Which is kind of dope. I like that. Right, the store is now open. Sweet. Got big refrigerators in there. It's pretty beasty. I like his idea. I like how he's got the toilets in the middle. Wait, no. Is that the toilets? Oh, he's got dining booths in the middle. Alright, it's kind of cool. I like that. I like that style. Right, people are coming. Is the moon going down? Yeah, it's starting to get bright over there. Right, eating a takeaway. You're eating here. Supply. Right, we've got the nuggets coming. Right, we have your order ready soon. Now, we can get some money together, guys. So I wonder how much she's going to give us now for this food. How much is she going to give us? I need to find out as well then if furnishing uh, services... Cash register is a thousand. So I need a thousand to buy another cash register. And then once I've got that, I can then serve two people at once. And then how much does it cost to upgrade the sign? The sign tracks better customers. That is... Wait, wait, here you go. One thousand. So basically I need two thousand to, to get those two things that I kind of want to get. Seems quite expensive and excessive, doesn't it? Right, but we're only getting like one customer coming at a time. So it's like we need that little bump in. The monies. Where's the speaker system? She not happy about there's no music? God damn it. Right, I, I like a chicken leg coleslaw and I would like a drink. Right. The chef will cook that up for you right now. As we just wait for the monies. The daytime is Right, a so we've now got 3,100 in the bank right now. Wait for this next person to get served. So can I upgrade without the store being open the outside stuff? Can I? Yeah, I've just purchased a brand new sign outside. I want to see that bad boy. I want to see that bad boy sign. Fast fools. Love it. Love it. Sweet, mate. Okay, right. So we've got now 2,000 remaining, which that's enough now to buy the next cash register. But I want to see how much more often people now come in. Where's that person going? It says we had four customers there for a second. Right, we are getting quite a few more. I think that person was leaving. Maybe. They're not coming in. And it's not fools not coming in. We only got no one, one customer. Yeah, okay. That dude's now coming in. We've got 2,500. But I kind of want to work on the restaurant again. I want to add some more stuff to it. Right, we'll, we'll take his money. We'll take his money. So I think what we'll do then, we'll buy another cash register and hire another chef and buy another sink. And then... How much money I've got left over, we'll spend that on building and placing in all the walls to try and slowly, um, you know, complete the kitchen area. So uh, we just wait for his, uh, get his little tray out. How much did he get there? 320, right, sweet. We're going to close the store again. Is it closed? Yeah, it's now closed. Okay, so furnished then with a cash register. Uh, kitchen, we're going to grab another sink. There we go. Good stuff. So we've got that then. 1,600 remaining. So let's build some walls. So beginner walls. How much are they? A pop. I'm not even sure how much. Oh, 75. Right, it's quite weird how it goes through the wall. But is that as far as I want the kitchen? I can make the kitchen free as like free wide as well. That'd be kind of cool. Is that how we want to do it? Or four wide? No, we go free wide. For now, no. For now, I'm kind of trying to think now. What would be the best? I could push the whole thing back. Right. Let me just go around the outskirts anyway. I might spend in any windows. Because they're a little bit more expensive. And I'm trying to save the cash money moolah. So delete this. I've got an idea, guys. I've got a really cool idea right now. So back to furnishing. 
and moving stuff. All right, there we go. You got to kind of replace them down. So if I move this back. Do I, I can't actually move it, can I? That's kind of annoying. Right, what if I... Right, we'll come back to that in just a moment. I've got an idea. Right, let's move that there a second. Okay, we'll have the sinks. One there. One there. Fridges. Here. Fryer. Fryer. No, we kind of do it e e either side. So have that in the middle of either side of the fryer. So it's a really short walking distance. And the sink at the very end. And then if that's like that, we can then have... Do I just keep... I should have just kept that there, shouldn't I? Or I have it up to here. I can have it there. Try and move the cash register. There we go. Move this. Why can't I move that? Let me come out and go back into it. Furnish. I just want to move it, you damn fool. Can't even sell it. Is it because it's attached to that? Right. Delete that. I'm going to delete those walls as well and redo them. So furnish. Still can't delete it. What is going on right now? I have no freaking idea. Right, what if I open the store? It's now open. And maybe close it again? W would that fix it? Furnish. No. No! Right, I'm going to save it, rejoin, and then continue. Because I've got I'm some back really here good then. And we've got a little bit more money together. And I managed to get them all back down. And I'm just kind of doing the door system now. So we can actually now afford to do a medium door. But I don't want to do that. I want to do a small door. And I want to get one. Because I'm trying to mimic how that dude did it over there. Okay. All right, I see how he did it. Place that there. And then... Because he's got like a really cool style for it. Delete that one. And eventually fill that all up uh, with cash registers. And we just need to kind of remove these again now. So furnish, move. Just so that they're against the wall. Nice. And that is our kitchen expansion, which looks kind of hella dope. Uh, services, stalls for toilets. It's a thousand for a toilet, which I can't quite afford them again. But I will get another counter in. And then what we'll do is because we will have the money to build this uh, a beginner wall there and there and then a door that is where the toilet is gonna go this is actually looking pretty damn dope and sweet mate right let's open this up again it's now open so we'll see how many customers first come in and how crazy it's gonna get before we hire another um, like worker and chef and all that. But we've got so much space in the kitchen there. It's actually looking pretty damn sweet. I feel like the uh, the sun is going down again. So like a hamburger and stuff. And uh, we might have to upgrade our supply chain soon. Right, okay. We're getting quite a few people now coming. So it's probably staff. Um, cooks, hire an extra one. Cashier, hire an extra one. And that's kind of all we need to do. So we need more patties. Order those. Anything else we need more of? Buns. Order those. And what we're running low on? Some potatoes. Order those. So you just got to wait for them to come into, in, into supply. And then we're rocking and rolling, boys. We're then rocking and rolling. Right. Oh, my God. We've got so many people lining up right now. It's kind of crazy. Look, look at these chefs now working simultaneously into the refrigerators they go. To the cooks and fryers and grills they go. It's genius.
genius, I tell you. Right, there we go. Got the cash money for that person. The queue is taking too long. Have they come into supply yet? Buns. Where's all the buns at? We need more buns. We're losing customers, guys. We're losing goddamn customers. All right, can we serve them? We've got the buns in yet? I need to upgrade my storage, don't I? That's what I really need to do next. Right, they're cooking something. So someone's going to get served something. I'm just kind of waiting down here who pulls the tray out or whatnot. There we go. That person's done. Uh, here or takeaway? Here? What do you want? Chicken legs and apples? We have those. I'm waiting for this to go down so the six coming in can fill up the capacity. Because we have one apple coming in too. And five patties also coming in. We need to use up some of our stock. <laughs> That's why nothing's coming in, you damn fool. All right, bam. What do you want next, boy? What do you want next? Yeah, what can I get for you? Chicken leg, coleslaw, and a drink. Chicken leg and coleslaw. Oh, is our supply chain going down? Right, we've got the patties coming right now. Um, we're going to order five chicken legs. That should come in soon, hopefully. <laughs> Man, we're losing customers so quick. I wish we could have some lights in this place because it's so dark. Where's the moon at, boys? Is it becoming daytime or is it just got nighttime? Don't even know anymore. Don't even know. All right, we're killing it still. We're still killing it. Give us a few minutes to get your order together. Right, the money is coming in now, boys. The money is now coming in. 200 there. We sell it. So we're going to build up some more money. Um... Buy some storage. I'll put, I'm put. i going to have to, for now, put the storage in the kitchen. Because we, 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 we are, like, running out of everything very easy. Order two buns. Uh, where's he? When, when are these chicken legs coming? Huh? 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 When are these chicken legs coming, you damn phone? Oh, it's now. We'll probably get, like, 2,500. Right, the moon is rising there. So we get to 2,500-ish, 3,000-ish. Uh, we'll buy the toilet. We'll buy the um, the storage so we can have some more ingredients in stock. The sun has risen! But it's still kind of dark in here. When does it get daytime? Nobody freaking knows. But I'm waiting for the whole night cycle to disappear. And we've now earned 6,800, which is pretty damn dope if you ask me. We're actually now going to close the restaurante one more time. Because what I'm going to do now then is go to furnish. First, I'm just going to move these seats. Puts. Oh, I don't think I can move that, can I? There we go. That one there. Okay, I can't do anything because someone's using that one. But you, you get the point of it. I want to try and rotate them. So with that said then, uh, back into furnish. Services. Toilet. We're going to spend a thousand on a toilet. Some stools we're going to place here. There we go. And do we have a sink we can drop down? Right, we don't quite have a sink, but like I'm going to place one here anyway. So they can use the sink in the restroom. Makes complete sense. Uh, miscellaneous then. Wait, when, when, no, no, services. Where do I get the storage stuff? Manager, that's where it is. So box storage. I wonder how much that gets. Should we go for the box storage free? Let's go for that because it's, it's a bigger one. And it will give us some extra storage space. Right now, that should be pretty dope. So we've got the toilet set up, which will hopefully increase our restaurant. If we get to manage, hopefully increases the star now because people can go to the toilet and whatnot. Those guys are gone. You know what? I'm going to keep those there as it is. That little, little design. I kind of like it. But I think we're ready to pretty much open back up now for business. So opening back up, my storage now got up to 75, which is kind of dope. So I'm going to order five of everything. And then wait for it to get delivered. Boom. Five of everything. So when we got the supply in, it's going to be pretty beasty. Look at how much we've expanded right now. We've got toilets in. Looking so damn swiggity swag. 
the urinals in. Also looking pretty swiggity swag. And do your pee pees in there. We've got two people serving right now. We need to buy more potatoes. Have they not been delivered yet? Oh, I don't No, we didn't order them, did we? We didn't order the potatoes. Damn fool, Cineac. Well, I got so much stuff waiting to get delivered now. It's all coming. So everyone's going to wait. Just a few moments. A few moments, they're going to wait. Look at everybody else's big store. Should we go check somebody else's store out while we wait for our supply to come in? Let's go check out this dude's here, because this one's looking pretty fancy. Is it even open? Yeah, it's open. Wow. He has got so many people in line right now. Quite a few people sitting down eating. I like his toilets too. He's got like a male and female one. You can say it's the male one, because it's got the uh, urinal cubital things in. Pretty damn swiggity swag. Let's go check this dude's out here. He has like outdoor seating. I'm not sure if that was like on purpose or whatnot, but it's pretty cool. Unless he's in the middle of like trying to save up money to uh, expand the rooms and whatnot. I want to see this dude's over here. Has our supply come in? Yeah, the supplies come in. So we're going to be like raking in the cash money Muno right now. All right, his entrance is just there. I like his too. It's like, if, this one feels like a McDonald's. Like, you know, the, the cash registers are in the center like that. Toilets to the side. Has he done male and female too? Yeah, he has. We need to bear that in mind as well. We need to do some of like that. He's just got a lot of dead space over here, though. There's nothing going on over there. So, I, I don't I mean, I'm not too sure what he could do that. Maybe work this out. Maybe make it like a horseshoe with counters on. Maybe. I don't know. But we're at currently level 5 at the moment. We are currently level 5. And we're grinding up to level 6. So, we've unlocked so much stuff. I, I understand that we've unlocked so much stuff. It's just I haven't got round to actually physically buying anything because we haven't really made the cash money moolah yet. But what are we now? What is our restaurant? It is a free and a bit. I'll say a 3.2 star restaurant. That's actually pretty damn dope. What's our supply levels like now? They're going to keep dwindling. But eventually we will get a manager which can auto kind of order stuff for us. That will be kind of sweet, mate. That will be kind of sweet, wouldn't it? We are doing it pretty damn dope. Pretty damn dope. So, guys, I think we're going to end it for here anyway. I hope you did enjoy this little episode of Fast Food Simulator. We've done some pretty cool expansions, which sex, um, sets us up for the next coming episode. So, if you want to see those next episodes, make sure you smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good bye. Listen.